Welcome back to Coyote Classics. Today we're going to be checking out another 1965 Mustang Coupe. I love the color combination on this. The white with that beautiful uh, pony interior. Excited to check this one out. Yeah, this pony interior is fantastic. And what's cool about this, this is a California car. Lived all of its life out west um, till we got it here. And just a fantastic quality car. Rust-free floors, um, which is so hard to find in one of these little coupes anymore. I really like what they did with the engine bay too. They took a real nice survivor car, um, did a one repaint on it, did a cosmetic uh, restore here under the hood as well. Brand new Napa battery, the top of the inner fender aprons are gorgeous, just like you'd expect from a rust-free car. Back firewall paint is nice. The factory C-code two barrel, and that's exactly how they left it. Just a 289 two barrel, still has all the, the crack style hoses and stuff like that. But how about power steering and air conditioning in a 65 Mustang? That's one thing I'm si excited about for today is that air conditioning. Let's hope it works. Um, the bottom side of the hood paint is beautiful. Uh, really nice job there. They went with the correct Argent uh, hood hinges, the hood springs, hood latch. I mean, everything's correct on it. Just all new bolts too. It's another thing you notice when you look under here. Nothing's been over sprayed. Uh, all new bolts throughout. Uh, really a, a show quality car still. Um, it was, you could tell it was built to be a show quality car. It's got a little age and stuff on the paint, but really nice. I really like that no one made like a GT roll out of it. You know what I mean? They went ahead and didn't put the GT fog lights. They just kept this one pretty much a rust-free California two-barrel car. Horse and corral is in great shape. Right along some of the edges, we have just a little thin paint here, Dalton. But uh, really nice gaps all the way across the back of the hood. Top of the fenders. This gap's a little tight here, right in the very front edge. Paint on the hood is excellent. Top of the fender paint's nice. Same thing back here. It fits really good back there as well. Top of the fenders, top of the cowl and doors line up well. Uh, it's got the style steel rims, which I really like on these Mustangs. It does have the disc brakes in front also, so that's very important. No power brakes, but it's got the disc. Bottom stripes all in great shape. Bottom corner of the door lines up excellent down here. Go to our website, coyoteclassics.com. Um, there you're going to go ahead and uh, see how solid the floors are and see how straight this car is. If you look up and down the passenger side, very, very straight. These cars sit in our showroom for a little bit, so they always need to be cleaned out a little. Um, single exhaust. Sounds good. Back bumper's nice. Tail lights are nice. Gas cap is all excellent as well. It's a cool car. It is cool. It's kind of in that uh, survivor category a little bit. With one repaint. Door handles are all original. Nice shape. Door jam paint looks really nice as well. If you look at the door jam paint in this area here, you can tell they did it, they repainted here, but this is all original paint in here still. So not as quite as nice as the rest of it. Um, roof rail rubbers are still pliable. Same thing with the door rubbers. It's got the deluxe interior and the door panels. Um, are in really good shape. Got the wood grain here. Top of the dash pad is great. It's not uh, buckled up at all, but it does have a few little chips. I mean, right here along the side. It's got an AM FM digital radio, factory Ford uh, air conditioning. It's got the short little console right here. Got some chips along this top edge of the console. Looks like the seats have all been redone. Uh, carpet looks like it's probably been redone as well. It's got 76,480 miles. So I'm assuming they're probably original. It's got the wood grain steering wheel, horn works. Headliner is really nice and it does have a couple of uh, speakers in the back shelf and they've got the really nice covers to match. Kind of look like a factory cover almost. Top of the dash pane is nice as well. There is a little chip here in the windshield, just a tiny little chip. Wood grain on all looks original here as well. I might have replaced the one around the gauge cluster. The gauge cluster looks nice. Uh, window felt still are original. They've never been replaced. The door rubbers might have. Those door 
doors shut great and line up really nice. Gonna do. I don't know. I haven't seen many Mustangs with that that color interior. The white with the teal. It's, oh, it's, it's nice. It's a great cool. color. Great color combination. I even like the white walls on this car. Yeah, I do too. If guy wants to give it a little different look, you can put some uh, red lines or raised white letters on it as well. But rear quarters on both sides are in, in really nice shape. Over top of the wheel well looks good. Um, we got a little bit of wrinkle. This is, which is nice to see. This is just a decal, guys. So if you don't like this, um, take it off. It's got a little spot on that uh, decal there. Rocker panels in great shape. Again, both corners of the doors line up perfectly, which tells us it's probably the original quarter still. All our factory codes are all correct. You've got the M, which is the Wimbledon white. Um, your trim code is 67. Door jam paint's all original felt, and this uh, quarter rubber is still original as well, which just tells us about how the car was taken care of. The inside door light works. Have a couple little tiny dings right here. There's two of them um, on the inside door. That paint's all original. I'm glad they did paint the uh, back side of the quarter. They did that on the driver's side as well. Back seat's in great shape. Um, you do see some wear, just a little bit of wear on the edge of the seat. I don't see any uh, spots through at all. The inside door jam color is good. Original paint all the way through here in this part of the jam. Heater fan works. Mm -hmm. Stereo on it too. This is what I care about today. It's clicking. It's clicking on. The air was definitely going to work. We just haven't had time work. to mess with it. It's going a little bit now. It is, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. There we go. Now she's in full force. She's actually blown cold already. Yeah, it is. Feels good. I'll take that. What's wrong with the windows? Huh? Window goes ice up cold nice. Air conditioning. And it is ice cold air conditioning. Yeah, that's, huh? that's worth a lot in itself. Horn works. Gas gauge works. Oil pressure gauge works, amp gauge, uh, temp gauge. We'll find out if that temp gauge is working. Um, also, our uh, wipers work in part correctly. Beautiful dash. Really just a turnkey car. It's got the cruise-o-matic transmission, the nice console. Um, and these are the cool consoles. These are the consoles with air conditioning. That's kind of what we're talking about. We just sold the 65 four-speed with a full console. A uh, customer wants to put the uh, original style air back in it, but you have to go ahead and get rid of that high dollar yeah. console and put a different one in. Yeah, shorter console. Kick down works. A little two barrel single exhaust. Yeah. Just a neat car. The fact that you know California car, yeah. uh, just well well kept. Here's our disc brakes. They're not power, but they don't move an inch either way. Really nice and straight. Good pedal. Sometimes it's you know power brakes. You know if you have a little bigger cam in a car, they don't work properly. A lot of times they go out just cheap parts we put a lot of different boosters new boosters in and they go to crap so one right thing away. with you know the less less stuff you got the less maintenance the air blows ice cold it does i don't know it was probably probably close to 100 degrees here today it's very hot man Speedometer works as well, Dalton. 76,481 miles on the odometer. Looks like the headliner could be original in this too. It does. I know the visor is hard. Yeah. Yeah, it is. You can see the little wear. Yeah, the rest of it's been cleaned. It's not wear, but I mean, just a little yeah. dirty right there. Look at how this thing goes down the road. 60 mile an hour. Uh, when I bought it from the guy, they said, hey, this is out west. They said, just jump in and drive it home. I mean, that's the kind of car it is. Fantastic car. 70 mile an hour just like that. 
it does go down the road really nice. Really, I don't think there's anything that, that it needs besides a new home. Nope. Check it out on the website, coyoteclassics.com. Really nice little Mustang too.